भगवद गीता फर्दर He has talked about how the various elements that comprise this material nature, how the modes and everything that is manifested in the modes ultimately rests in him, and how those who surrender can go beyond the illusion of the mode. That's what he said in seven point fourteen. Then in seven point fifteen, he talked about those who don't surrender to him. From 7.16 to 19, he talked about those who surrender to him, and thereafter, from 7.20 onwards, he talks about those who are in between these two categories. So, those who don't surrender and those who surrender are two extremes. In between the two are those who surrender, but to something else. So here, from twenty to twenty-three, Krishna will talk about those who surrender to the devtas. So he says, "Kama is the state of jnana, prapadyante anya devataha." So he's using the same word prapadyante as he had used in seven point fourteen. Ma me ba ye prapadyante maya me tam taranti te. So those who are, those who surrender to me go beyond Maya. That propendent day leads us to go beyond Maya. But those here who are the people who surrender to surrender to other devotees, any devotee, propendent day, any devotee. Who are these people? Kama is thay thay rita jnana. Those whose jnana, his knowledge has been taken away, rita. Stolen away, abducted by karma, by self-centered desire. So the the point of saying of using the word jnana and using karma is the is the rita jnana is that in the previous verse, Krishna has stated how those who surrender to him, they are jnana one. बहुनाम जन्मना मंते ज्ञानवान माम प्रपद्यते वासुदेव हस्सर्वमिति समाहत्मा सुदुर्लभा सही टॉक्स देर अबाउट दैट मीन्स दोस वो आर फिक्स्ड इन डिवोशन टू हिम दोस वो अंडरस्टैंड हिम टू बी एवरीथिंग दे आर ज्ञानवान वासुदेव सर्वमिति बट इन कॉन्ट्रास्ट दोज हो सरेंडर दोज हो सो इफ देर इफ पीपल आर ज्ञान वन दे विल सरेंडर टू हिम बट इफ देर ज्ञान सो द वन इज ऑफन यूज एज अज अ सफिक्स Which describes possession, like we have dhana van, which means one who possesses dhana. So, if we consider dhana to be a wealth, one who has dhana is dhana van, and just as wealth can be stolen away, similarly, rita jnana, knowledge can be stolen away. And what can steal away that knowledge? Desire, karma. So, so the word karma is used in different senses in the Bhagavad Gita. Some places it use it use narrowly to refer specifically to lust. As contrasted from, because contrasted with say other anathas like greed and anger. So when Krishna says that lust, anger, and greed are the 
three gates to hell as you will say in 16.21 so lust is one kind of selfish desire the desire for sensual gratification and krishna says in third chapter that lust is what will cause bondage lust is our inner enemy that also uses it more or less in a you know a more inclusive describer of selfish desire beginning with the desire for physical gratification now in this chapter itself in 7.10 krishna is talking about from 7.8 onwards uh, when he talks about various how he is manifest as the essence of all things when he says dharma viruddho bhute shu kamo asvi bharadarshan it's there he refers to kam not just as a this self destructive force but as a natural human need as a natural human need which needs to be fulfilled in a dharmic way in fact it is not just a need it's a purpose of life dharma arth kama moksha Which are the four purusharthas? Among them, Kam is also an important purushartha. So there, Kam refers not just to sex desire; it refers to overall material prosperity. The pursuit of material prosperity should not be at the cost of ethics. Dharma avirudho bhuteshu kama usmi bharadarshana. That's what he is told earlier. Now Krishna is saying, kama is the is the irata jnana. That those whose knowledge has been destroyed by has been stolen away by desire. It's an interesting. Uh, thought it's a thought provoking conception knowledge being stolen by desire that means say somebody knows that cigarette smoking is injurious for the health but if there is a addictive desire for a particular for, for say cigarette then the person forgets the knowledge that one may have acquired by being told by the doctor by reading some uh, some health related literature by even one's own experience of the health consequences despite all these one will end up indulging in it and in this case the desire steals away the knowledge so krishna is telling here that's of course a very directly self defeating kind of stealing away of desire here krishna talks about kama istai istai rita gyana prapadyante anya devata prapadyante they surrender to other devatas and tam tam niyamam asthaya tam tam niyamam asthaya following rules accordingly prakritya niyatah swaya so it's not that these people so there is say if somebody starts cigarette smoking or somebody gets into some irreligious activity because of the influence of karma in that case the person is actually up all dharma entirely but in this case krishna is saying that they don't give up dharma but they follow the rules prakritya nyatah swaya rules according to their nature prakritya nyatah swaya so this can broadly refer to how there are tamasic people the in the bhagavad gita purana there is the classification that is described that the tamasic people worship shiva the rajasic people worship brahma and satvic people worship vishnu 
basically Krishna is, uh, tells over here that those who have knowledge they worship him but those who don't have knowledge then depending on the way that desire has depleted their knowledge they will accordingly uh, being driven by their nature they will worship some other devata so this whole system of the devata upasana we will understand gradually in the next three talks thank you